the first time I got to play the devil was in a Tenacious D video for a song called Tribute. And that was, it was fun. I mean, anything with Tenacious D is fun. Um, the process of putting on the makeup and stuff for that video was maybe like a couple hours getting painted red and putting that thing on my face. That was pretty fun. Then I played the devil in their movie, The Pick of Destiny. That was about six hours in makeup to put that on. It was really, really involved and a tedious, long uh, process that I would never wish upon anyone and will never do again. So, you know, for this film, it was relatively simple. I just had to put in fangs, put some contacts in and mess up my face a little bit. But it's, you know, it's great. It's like, you know, I, what happens, uh, I'm assuming you're in the UK. Um, no, I'm actually in LA at the moment. But, uh... Oh, you're in Los Angeles. Okay, well, so, you know, here in America, Halloween is a huge holiday. And I love Halloween. And I'm always sad when it's over. You know, I love becoming someone or something else for a good four or five hours at night uh so with this film i got to do that for a good month and a half and it was fun you know it was really fun well we've made a lot of documentaries at this point whether it was the sound city movie or the food fighters documentary back and forth or the sonic highways uh series or the what drives us documentary we've done a bunch of those and they're great they're really rewarding and it's completely different way but um you know this just seemed like an outlandish idea and having made music videos like we do over the past 26 years this was just kind of a much more exaggerated version of that just an extended version of that you know usually when you make a rock video it's two days on set and there's a silly premise and it's four minutes long this was a month and a half and a much more involved process um but well, uh but an equally ridiculous idea yeah and a little more accessible than like sci-fi or a period piece or something yeah i yeah. mean you know, we, nobody was going for best lead actor in a dramatic role <laughs> that's for sure yeah, well, you know, we the movie in the house is, uh, I'm sorry, the house in the movie is the house where we recorded our last record. Yeah. And um, we, we figured, well, we just happened to have this house. Why not uh, finish the album, have a few weeks off, bring in some cameras and make a really sort of fun, low budget slasher film. Um, and then it just kind of snowballed into a full length feature film. Yeah. So it wasn't something that we planned on doing. Uh, it just kind of evolved into an actual movie, which still surprises us. It's hard to believe that we're sitting here talking about a movie that's in theater that people are going to go watch. A lot of the, the movie shot at night. So you you start basically when you go to, when you would normally go to sleep, and then it goes on till six in the morning. And those shots were were insane because there's a giant balloon there that's making fake light and you're up like trying to like scream and act terrified and like just act which is not easy when it's like three in the morning so th those those nights were were pretty wild yeah. kind of fun but they got they got a little long um no it's like we're just, it was like being on tour really like we're, we're in a room waiting for something to happen which happens a lot on tour uh and then you get like the five minute warning and then you know you've got 20 minutes and then yep. you get on and act for five minutes and then wait around a little bit longer. This is making me tired just talking about it. You know, yeah. we've been jet lagged for about 26 years. So sleep is the best part of being in this band is being the band and making albums and writing songs and playing live shows. It's been a while since we've really been on tour. Last year we did a bunch of shows and it was so good to get back to live music. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that, just hitting the road and playing shows. Um, to be honest, I, I don't know when we would find the time to do this again. I mean, at that point, it's going to be like grumpy old men with chainsaws, you know, it, it might be a while. <laughs>